Prompt engineering is definitely a skill you should have, but you don't need to pay money to buy these prompting guides or cheat sheets that people are selling online. In my next few videos, we'll go over three stages of prompt engineering, starting from the simplest guidelines to more advanced methods, which can significantly up your game. First of all, prompting is not some rocket science. It's just the action of talking to LLMs and Prompt engineering is the art of designing the most optimal prompts for different use cases. You're probably thinking, why should LLMs be prompted? Why can't you talk to them just like you talk to other humans? So these models are still not as smart as humans at understanding nuances. And models basically reflect everything they learned during training and don't have any real intelligence capabilities. So what prompt engineering does, it is helps you bridge this gap by providing the right cues or hints to guide the model. Here are three most effective guidelines to help you get started on your journey. One, be specific as to what you want rather than giving a very generic statement. So this kind of a statement over this. Two, most LLMs work better when you set context, right? Let's say you're asking a question about biology. Start off with the context and then ask your question. Three, don't lead LLMs in a particular direction. Always ask questions without bias. So this over this. You can get amazing responses for most of your everyday tasks by just making sure you incorporate these guidelines. But let's say you want to become a prompting pro or use prompting for more complex applications, then check out the resources I've linked below and also watch the next few videos where we talk about more advanced methods.